guys and welcome back to my van build so this weekend I'm going to start doing the walls uh, I'm going to start doing the insulation on the walls uh, we're going to batten it out and everything to put the ply on I've got 9mm ply to put on the walls um, but before I do that I want to run some cables as well for the cooker and some 240 hookup stuff so let's go ahead and get on with that Right guys, while running these cables I've had a bit of a brainwave. If you remember from the first episode, we took some of the side panels down and it had the factory plastics and that was there and I said I was going to keep hold of them in case I found a use for them. Well guess what, I found a use for them. So what I'm going to do with them, I'm going to use them to build a false wall. And by that I mean, when I put the cupboards up, I'm going to put at the back of the cupboard I'm going to use them plastics to make the false wall so then if I ever need to run any cables for any upgrades or anything else I'll just take the false wall off and I can run the cables so that's what I'm going to be doing there um, but for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the batten in now on the passenger side wall so I can get that side finished and then after I've done the batten in I'm going to be cutting in the 240 volt hookup so I'm just going to go ahead and get on with that for now so catch you in a sec so guys to put this batten in up on the walls what I've got is this little kit here it's a ridden up kit that you can put in the battery drill so I'm going to give this a go because instead of drilling holes we've already got some holes in there so I'm going to put in some rib nuts and attach the batten into that so let's go ahead and give that a go works quite well guys so you literally just put this attachment to your drill put your rib nuts in push it in do the drill up pulls them tight that works really well so I'm going to carry on with these right guys to mark out the wood where I've put the uh, with nuts, I've picked up a little trick off uh, YouTube. I'm going to be using this play doh. So you stick this on the back of the wood, push the wood up against the panel where you want it to go, and it should leave an indentation of the rib nuts. So I'm going to give that a go and see what happens. So by putting the, the play-doh on, I 
pushed it up against where the rib nuts are and as you can see here right here it's left where the rib nuts are on each pa on each of the uh, on the, all the wood so I'm going to mark that now on the piece of wood and then hopefully that should be it There you go guys, that works out pretty well. So, I've just got to trim that wood down a bit and then get that one bolted up. Right guys, that's the first bit up and it's pretty solid. So I'm just gonna get the next bit up and then I'll take you over there and have a look. Right guys, that's both of the cross beams put in. So now I've got to do the vertical. Yeah, so I've done the lateral, now I've time to do the vertical. Right guys, that wall's all now studded out. So the next job for me to do on there is start to put the insulation on. Right well, guys, before I can carry on down in the bottom corner there, I'm going to have to cut in my 240 hook up. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut that in. 
So guys, with that hookup kit I bought, they actually give you a template to use. So I'm just gonna go outside now, and we're gonna see what that looks like, and see where we're gonna put it. Right guys, now that 240 hookup's put in, I'm just gonna continue now, insulating the walls, and then vapor barrier. So I'm gonna carry on now with that. Right guys, that wall's all insulated now and vapour barriered. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the ply up on the wall. Uh, I've got nine mil ply for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead now and cut that out. 
I did keep the original that was on the wall so I can try and use that as a template. So I'm just going to go ahead and try that now. Okay guys, that wall's all boarded out now. The only piece I've got left to do now is where the window is and for the bed, where I've got to make a frame for inside there. So let's go and have a look and see what I've done on that for now before I continue with the rest. So there you go guys, I've done the wheel arch. Uh, wall's all battened out. I'm leaving the top because I'm going to be putting a false wall up in the top behind the cupboards. Uh, so all I've got to do over here is put the framework in there ready for my bed and I'm going to put um, that four-way stretch carpet in there once that's all panelled out so my next job then is going to be going to do the other side so before I start boarding this one out guys I need to make, quickly make a frame up for my shower and decide where I've got to cut the hole in the side for for the toilet so that's what I'm going to be carrying on with next so catch you in a bit Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I 